As you know, I am making a series of tutorials on microcontrollers, mainly about STM32 ARM development boards. Today I will show you how to make your ARM STM32 development board play a music, in this case the Star Wars music. Here is a small introduction of what we will, we will be able to do at the end of this video. While learning how to make it play a music, I will explain how to use interrupts, timers and a very useful tool that is Algatic, similar to the Millis code in the Arduino. We will program the board easily in C language using a program called stm 42 cube ed The board that will be used is the ARM STM32 Mini System Development Board STM32F103 Core Board and the debugging tool that will be used is the ST-Link V2 USB stick. The material that will be needed in this project will be an audio speaker that I removed from an old Bluetooth speaker, a transistor, a few resistors, wires, a push-pull button, a breadboard, a power source and of course board and the debugger. Here is the schematic that will be used to make all the wiring. Since the STM32 board can supply high currents, Studying the datasheet, we can see that max current per pin is of around 25 million pairs. To protect it from breaking, I use some resistors to limit the currents and a transistor to power up the speaker, since to operate needs a higher current and a higher voltage that the board pins can supply. I also decided to add a capacitor to remove noise created by the power lines and the timer. After assembling the circuit, we can start programming the board. If you don't want to follow the decisions and some explanations on the programming side, you can simply download all the files from the link you can find in the description. If you have an STM42 board different than mine, you can use only the music player header and C file as a sort of library. You will be able to use the music player simply using hashtag include on top of your code. Ok, so let's start by understanding the stuff we will need to understand when programming the music. First of all, we will have to understand how an auto reload register works, or also we could also learn uh, since they work as the same, a uh, count register works. So an auto reload register has a value inserted in it, in this case let's suppose FFF, and when um, the, the, count, the timer counter reaches the value of the auto reload register, the timer counter resets. And when the timer counter resets, something can happen. In our case, we all have that uh, the value, the GPIO pin will go to 1, to 0, to 1, to 0 each time that the timer counter reaches the auto reload register value. We will be able to change the auto reload register. So for example, we could change it to 100. So we can understand that if we change it to 100, the frequency will change because it will reset each time that it reaches 100. So it will be like this. All right. This is logical because uh, also the, the um, the timer counter will reset, so it will do this. So we'll be able to to change the, the frequency of our of the buzzer. We can use what learned before to use this theorem. So auto reload register value is equal to timer clock divided by the prescaler value um, multiplied by the frequency. So we can set the auto reload register with the frequency since we know. Uh, the timer clock and the prescaler values, since they are predefined, the only value that we will be able to change is the frequency in hertz. So we can we can decide the frequency in hertz, and so we can uh, determine the outer load register value that we will have to set. Uh, this is an example of the, the calculus you, you will have to make if you have a different value of the prescaler and the timer clock in your uh, board and you set a different value, but in general this works. 
This is an example, and uh, I calculated all the nodes with the, the previous formula that I showed you before. So I, I, I discovered the value of the outward load register for the DA, the WED, B, for all the nodes. I discovered the outer load register that we will have to use to play the note at a certain frequency. After that, by studying your music, you will have to create two arrays, one called melody and the other called time. Each array has the same length and um, it works like this. For the first note, you have to play the note A for 500 milliseconds. Then the note A again for 500 milliseconds, note A again for 500 milliseconds, the note F for, 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 for 3500 milliseconds and so on and so on. Uh, by doing this you will be able to, to play a music. So this is the, the, a code example using the HAL delay. The whole delay is, is, um, is not as good as the HAL get tick since the whole delay will, will um, stop your program from running so it will be like the delay in Arduino so it will stop your program from running for 550 milliseconds, 450 milliseconds and also here it will stop your program from running for the time that you set before of the nodes for example 500 milliseconds uh, you can also see that here is the place where we change the value of the outer load register and uh, with these commands we will be able to change the to start the, the, the counter yeah and yeah this this if is used for um, this if is used for understanding when the, the music has ended and when the music has ended it will stop music but you could also use uh, a restart so else and then it restarts uh, counting it puts the e the, the e value back to zero and yeah this is this is the how the music works with the whole delays then i use the whole get tick that is very 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 complicated but uh, we'll have we'll try to to see how i made it um, directly in the stm32 ambient all right, so this is the, the function that we will use. This is the music player function and it has three parameters. It returns uh, of an, an integer value. Uh, it returns zero if it's stopped playing and it returns one if it's played. The present status, status music is, uh, is another parameter that we'll have to put. And if it's one, it plays, it continues to play the music. And if it's zero, it has to stop the music. And the speed value is one that we will not use, but if we want to use, we can use it to change the speed of the music. In general, you will have to put the speed at zero, so if you want to, it to play at the normal speed. Other than that, thanks to whole get tick, that we use whole get tick in the index function and not the whole delay function, um, you will be able to use this music player with other code, and it will not slow down your code too much since it doesn't go each time each cycle into the function to to to, to play the music. So we are in the STM32 QBD. So first of all, what we, we will have to do, if you already have everything connected, you should be able to go. If you don't have the every the same as me, first of all, go to the .ioc file and uh, use the graphic ID to change the values for the timer and to uh, uh, activate pins. These two pins will were used to do the SWDIO uh, communication. This pin was used to read via interrupts if uh, a button is pressed and this is the pin that it will be used for the timer. In, in our case we will use timer 2 because the timer one is used for other things and we can't use it. So how does it work? You will have to go to system view. So well, you can click directly in it and do whatever you want to do, you see? But for the timer, you will have to go to system view. Uh, then you have to go to, to timers, timer two, 
and then you will have to enable um, the channel one to as output compare channel one so we will we will use it as an output compare and then you will have to go in parameter settings and change the parameter settings as I did here so you have to have the first color as 500 minus one the, the outer load register also to 500 the outer load per load should be enabled if not if the value goes higher it it doesn't uh, change value so you have to enable it then you have to do as i did here okay and then toggle match because we want to it to change every time that it matches the outer load register after that you have to go to the clock configuration and uh, change the values of so no, not change values but if you have different values in mind you will have to, to put the same values as the frequency that you will have in here because this is the, the, the clock that is used by the timer tune and yeah after doing that you will have to press this button and this button will make all the automatic configurations so you don't have to after doing this you can go here in the main, the main. you will have to include the, the music player dot h that is the, the library that I, I, I created for you uh, that it plays music and uh, if you want you can also include the sdio.h file if you want to use printf and scanf but in theory you shouldn't use it so also this part can be eliminated but I, I left it here then after that you will have to use this code this is the interrupt code that is used for um, for the button for the press bash button and uh, by using the an interrupt callback we will we are able to to press the button even if uh, the program is doing something else and then in main we will have to to play the music so we will have to make this if and else that will play the music if uh, we press bot button and it will stop the music if we press the button again and this is all you can see that I call the music player and I give it the value play the value play changes uh, depending on the button that is pressed uh, uh, if the button is pressed uh, and yeah now if you want to see how i made the, the music player we can see all the melody of the star of music all the time and then we can go to the music player and we can see that it's very similar to to the whole delay but i use whole get tick using whole get tick i am able to compare the value of a previous whole get tick so for example i i register the time at 100 and then I want it to stop when it is 300. So I uh, will, will, will use the whole get tick to understand if the time has passed. And if it has passed, it will change the, the note. And yeah, this is the code. This, the, uh, the pianist function, you shouldn't use. You shouldn't uh, take in consideration. And yeah, I'm sorry if it's in Italian, but I uh, made this for a project and uh, I, I am Italian, so I prefer to, to write in Italian and not in English. And then if you want to program, you press here and here, and then you will be able to listen to the music. So here is the, the music uh, playing, and thank you for watching.